Hey, here is a Xiaomi Hackintosh, and here is a MacBook Pro. Let's see which is faster in a Final Cut Pro. We will test performance with three projects today. First, it is a basic edit of a 1080p footage from my Sony 7S. The second project is a 4K drone footage with some extra color grading and speed effects on top. And the last test is Bruce X 5K benchmark. So let's start with a basic 1080p project. And I will tell you a little bit more about these machines. So the Xiaomi is running the latest Intel 8 Gen CPU, which is a quad-core i5 model. It has 8 gigs of RAM. And we are using integrated Intel graphics because the more powerful NVIDIA Mix 150 GPU is simply not supported by the Mac OS. And on the right we have a 2014 MacBook Pro with an old Intel 4th generation i5 CPU, which has only two cores, but has the same 8 gigs of RAM and integrated Intel graphics too. So the first test ends with MacBook taking the lead. It finished the job 15% faster. And we saw that even Xiaomi has twice as more CPU cores. Final Cut simply did not load the CPU more than 50% at a time. So let's see what will happen with the 4K drone footage, which has a color grading and speed effects on top. It should be much more resource intensive. And maybe we'll see the benefits of the latest Intel 8 Gen quad-core CPU on Xiaomi. Okay, again, MacBook is faster. And I made a several runs of each clip just to see that we get constant results. And it was always the same. So it basically shows that Final Cut Pro X depends way more on the GPU than the CPU performance. This is why the performance is very similar and usually MacBook is a little bit faster even with an older CPU. And even both uses Intel integrated graphics. The MacBook has a more powerful Intel model as it is the only and the main GPU on the Mac. And Xiaomi uses Intel integrated graphics just for power saving. So the performance GPU is NVIDIA MX150, uh, which demolishes MacBook in Premiere Pro and games in Windows. But as in Mac OS, it's not available. We are stuck with uh, low performance Intel graphics. And that brings me to the conclusion. If you want to use Mac OS exclusively, better get a MacBook, even an older one, like this 2014 model, which cost about the same used as a brand new 2018 Xiaomi Air. And MacBook is designed to run Mac OS. It offers the same performance, if not better, in Mac OS. Yet, if you want to use Windows apps or games, that's totally a different story. Definitely go with the Xiaomi R13, as I showed in my previous videos. It's a beast not only for apps, but even running the latest games with an impressive performance in Windows. So that is it for today, and thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe for more videos like this, and see you in the next one.